Hi folks, McDonald Outdoors here. Um, hope you're having a great day. Today I'd like to do a review on the Dedito Moorland boot. I've had this boot for about two years now and uh, uh, that includes guiding uh, for the red deer season in Scotland, uh, in the north of Scotland. And uh, at first I was a little skeptical about these boots. They, they appeared to be well made, but uh, essentially if you're unfamiliar with these boots, they're completely synthetic uh, lower. Uh, synthetic and waterproof lower uh, with a leather uh, ankle support area here and uh, they have a lace system and then a velcro system across the top of the boot but I think they're uh, they're a very nice looking boot and uh, so far as you can see after you know two years of, of using them the tread is still pretty good pretty uh, uh, pretty sharp and uh, I've put a lot of miles on these boots so I'm, I'm quite surprised with how they've held up uh, at the time I think I bought them for just over 200 pounds uh, or thereabouts and um, the first I'll just go over the positives and then I'll cover the negatives uh, so the positives are that these this is a Gore-Tex boot or uh, something similar to a Gore-Tex lined boot and my first stag season with these they kept my feet completely dry for the whole season which surprised me I wasn't expecting that before I had bought these my first uh, proper pair of boots were Zamberlan Hunter Pros I think that's what they were called or Hunter GTX's or something like that and those were a phenomenal boot incredibly comfortable um, but you know there were times where, where my feet would get completely soaked and water would get in through the top uh, I remember wearing these boots for the whole season the first time I got them and uh, there were a few times where I went into a ditch or fell through the bog and my I was submerged up to my knee or higher and I'd pull my my foot out and my feet were still dry water for some reason did not get in even though these are just kind of like a normal boot I don't know if that has anything to do with the velcro strap across here but my feet actually stayed dry so that was a huge positive for me and one which I didn't really expect you know I was kind of expecting my feet to get wet anyways so uh, the fact that these kept them dry uh, was a huge plus you know if you're going out every day and stuff like that uh, in the rain or in the good weather your feet staying dry was just a huge positive over the long term of the season so that was that was pretty cool um, I like the height and overall uh, the upper shows no signs of cracking uh, and is still after two years ready to rock and roll so I'm really happy with that in terms of the, the price you know being a fairly budget boot um, not only does it look good but more importantly it performs really well and I'm very very happy with that um, uh, the leather upper is, is very nice and comfortable and I think also looks very nice it's these are made in Italy so the construction quality is actually very good so you can see there this the, the detail brand there um, so I really do enjoy these boots in terms of the negatives there's two negatives uh, for me the first one was a little bit on that construction quality I remember when I first got these uh, the velcro tab here basically the first time I put them on uh, after taking them home the glue just became unstuck here on the velcro um, so I thought it would, wouldn't last but you know it's lasted two years being exactly the same as it was so I think that was just a little bit of a uh, just a, I can super glue that back on that's no big deal um, but for me the major negative was when I first got these boots when I would tie them up on my leg the collar of the boot came to about here so I was about to get I was, I was able to get it nice and tight around my leg however by the end of my first stag season uh, I think the material maybe stretched or something um, or I guess maybe I lost muscle in my legs or calves um, but uh, I now basically have to tie these boots this close together to be tight around my leg so um, in terms of the foot size it fits my foot perfectly but it either stretched or is a little loose around my actual leg uh, when it goes up to the top part of this boot here uh, so I uh, so my feet aren't so I'm not super secure in these boots anymore in terms of ankle support because even with this uh, tied to my foot or to my, my uh, legs like this, uh, the boot still gives me um, more wiggle room uh, in the actual ankle area than it used to when I first purchased these boots. So that is my major negative is that uh, they seem to have just kind of stretched over time uh, to an amount where I can't really get them incredibly tight anymore. Uh, on my legs because I've used up all the room available here so I don't know if there's models that they make where uh, they can have this same size I think these are ten and a half uh, UK so or it's just my, my my leg shape is just very skinny to what they build their size ten and a half or size ten shoe lasts to uh, but overall I think these are a really excellent boot I've been really impressed with the build quality um, and my prior experience has been mainly with uh, Zamberland 
hunting boots, which are also a phenomenal boot, but again, uh, about double the price uh, of these Didito Moorland stocking boots. So uh, that's my review for these guys. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried these yourself or if you're thinking of getting a pair. Again, I highly recommend you check them out. I just wanted to share my current experience with them because I found that there haven't been many, uh, there isn't really any reviews of these boots on YouTube thus far. So just wanted to give my two cents. Uh, the laces are great. They, they've still lasted. And I don't need to replace them anytime soon. And uh, I really like the texture of these boots. And again, I'm just kind of blown away by the fact that they've kept my feet nice and dry over a whole season. So I can't argue with that. Uh, and uh, I'm really, really happy for that too. So I would give these a, a, a definite four or 4.5 out of 5. If you're looking for just a basic and really budget-friendly, high-quality high stocking boot, check out the Didito Moreland boots. That's all for today, guys. Have a great day, and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care and bye for now.